Hello everyone and welcome to Scott's Honest Reviews. So today we are reviewing the foldable neckband stereo wireless headset. Super bass, voice prompt, vibration, vibration for incoming calls, retractable earbuds. Here's some tech spec for those who love the tech. V5.0 support HSP, HFP, A2DP, AVRCP. Class 2, working distance 10M, fre frequency range 2.402 GHz through 2.480 GHz, charging time around 3 and a half hours, standby time 180 hours, talk time 12 hours, music time 10 hours, power supply 5 volt 1 amp. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and start unboxing this beautiful product. Also guys, if you're interested in this product, you can get it directly from a safe seller. The link will be in the video description exclusively, so go check out the link, go check out this product. So right away we got one year warranty card. We got the quick guide, and here it is. So let's go ahead and take it out. So it folds just like so, opens up just like this. It's great to put around your neck, fold it for packaging it away. Notice right now it looks like we have a button right here. Oh, so th this retracts. So by pressing, let's zoom out for you guys, get you a better angle. So by pressing the button, look at that. And letting go of the button, it leaves it out. So let's see how far you can go. So that's how far you can retract them, which is pretty far. By pressing the button, it goes right back into the slot back just like that. Same for the other side. Press the button. Nice retractable. So right away I see that it's a nice design. Very smooth plastic. Feels very comfortable. So let's see if there's any other buttons that we have. So underneath we have a something that says R and an L. So that's your right and your left. That way you know which way to put it on. So we're going to put it around my neck right now. And it actually feels good, comfortable. I like that. It's steady. Over here, it looks like we have a phone button. Here we got volume control. Here we have an on off button. So that is very nice. Yeah, this overall is extremely nice. So let's go ahead and see what else we got. Here we have more ear uh, bud extensions. Just soft silicone or rubber, which is very nice. They even bring and supply a nice distance USB charging cord. We're going to go ahead and plug this into the USB charging port. So let's go ahead and find where that would be. Okay, it looks like it's right here. So under here, little tab that you pull apart. Let's see if I can get it for somebody who bites their nails but should not. And I did get it, so it's easy to pull. So we're going to go ahead and connect the charger. Right away. I notice there's a little red button. You guys probably can't see it, but it's down in here. Up oh, over here too. So here you can see how it's charging. Very nice. We're going to leave it charged for a little bit. Um, so overall, the style is very nice. Very sleek. It's very nice that you can you can bend it and fold it. So that's nice for storaging. So, I mean, and it stretches too, like it's, which is nice. That, that's a very nice quality. Over, overall, a very nice design. 
So, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So, I think we charged it enough. So, now <clears throat> let's go and test this out. So, we're going to be testing this out on my older version Apple iPod. So, let's go ahead. We got that powered on. Let's go ahead and turn it on with the button right here. Whoa! It vibrated. Okay, so now let's go under. What you're going to want to do is you're on your whatever device you're using, go to your settings and then find your Bluetooth settings. Then what you want to do is search for Bluetooth devices. Like here, it brought it up. So now we're going to simply once it you know once you have this powered on. And you can even have your Bluetooth settings up before you power this on. Find it. It's going to be right there. And now we are going to sync it. So now it is syncing and it is now connected to the headset here. Very nice. So now we are going to place it around our neck. And you want to place, you want to have this facing down. So this is how you want to put it on. So guys, this is how it looks, just like that. Very nice, stylish. So, man, it sounds weird. It's always always sounds weird when you have uh, like earplugs on and you're talking. So now to get used to the controls, I'm sure it's going to take a little bit. Um, we're going to go ahead and find the music so already we can hear the sound you're gonna wanna make sure sorry if I'm talking too loud it actually sounds like I'm not talking that loud but um, you're gonna wanna go and have your volume turned down on your device just so you don't hurt your ears um, now we're gonna go to music we're gonna play so we're playing music now let's see Oh, I'm not sure what it... Oh, that's voice control. So we activated voice control. See, i got to get used to these settings. Pl I'm not... So right now, it activated voice control. Not sure we, we don't want that. Alright, so I'm going to take them out. So now we're going to retract them. The button is in the inner side. So put them back in just like that. Press the button on the inner side and it pulls it right back in. So now to get used to this, we want to see so the volume button is up here. This button is looks like for your phone or something. Um, so okay, that's where that's at. That's on and off. So let's go ahead and test the volume. Just so we pull out. You can pull out as far as you want. Put them in your ear and you're good to go. It's that simple. And if you want, you can retract it, pull it tight, which is, you know, you, you want it loose. So you're going to want it loose. So we'll pull them out to what we want. So running, they're going to be fine. Um, you probably want to put it under your shirt if you can. If you want, you don't have to. Um, but they shouldn't go anywhere when you're running. <laughs> All right. So now let's test this out. Um, so again, until you get used to it, it's going to feel a little awkward. So I think we slide it up. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm learning some features here. So on the volume button, by sliding it just down, basically um, right here, by pressing down, it switches your song. It changes songs. So let's see, how do we play? Oh, 
Okay. So, you know that button that I said that shows a phone under it? By pressing that, just tapping it, plays your music. By tapping it again, pauses your music. So, let's see the volume. Okay. By pressing up on the volume and holding, that ups your volume. So, you simply press up and hold. It go okay. So your volume goes up periodically. Like I'll sh I'll show you guys. So let's go back here. Okay, let me show you guys. So I'm gonna sl I'm gonna slide and hold the volume button up, and I'm gonna show you guys how it goes up. So we're putting it, we're basically turning it off right now. So this button right here, that silver thing, that is my volume. So I'm going to show you how it uh, increases. It doesn't like go flying up, which is nice. That's a great feature. So I'm now going to press the volume up button. I'm going to hold the volume up and show you guys how it goes. So now let's play the song. And now we're going to press the button and slide it up. That is pressing and holding it up. So that is a very nice feature. Um, that way it doesn't all of a sudden blast really loud by pressing and holding the volume button. So let's go over this in more details. So we're going to retract this back by holding it straight out and just pulling back. You want to pull it straight, make sure your wire straight, and then press the retract button and it'll go back in. So let's go over some features right now. Here's the call button. So for music, what you're going to do is you're going to press it to pause your music, press it to start your music. Here's your volume button. Now what you're going to want to do, if you want to switch songs, you know, if you want to go to the left or right, um, let me see, by pressing, just pressing the plus at the top, or no, you, you slide it forward quickly, so, so watch this. You slide up just like that. That switches songs if you want to go back to the song you slide it down here you guys can see better slide it down slide it down and that keeps switching your songs to make the volume go up you just simply start at the bottom if you want it to go up you press it up and you just hold it and it will periodically up the volume to go down you start at the top press and hold it down and it will periodically lower the volume that way. Now it will only do that if it, a song is playing. So if you don't have a song playing, you can't up the volume or lower the volume. So once the song's playing, you simply just and it's got a nice um, grip right here, so you can use your finger to press down to slide up and hold till so okay well now comes the fun part the actual reviewing of this product let's go ahead and turn it off so by simply pressing the off sliding it down to off it shows red and it is now off let's go ahead and turn the iPad pod off Okay guys, so we are going to now do the full review based off of the price, the product, the design, the quality, and how it works. I just got back, I did take it for a test spin running and it, it, everything was fine. So once you get used to the controls, I give this a Scott score of 9.3 out of 10 that is right a 9.3 out of 10 that is a Scott score um, normally I don't give 
Scott scores to product reviews. You see, normally I give a rating of 1 through 10. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. Sometimes if I like a product so much, I will give it a Scott score. A Scott score is basically the premium of my scoring. And if I give it a Scott score, no matter what it is, normally a Scott score will be 7 or higher. If I'm if it's, you know, less than that, I'm just going to give it a regular score. But a Scott score means it's a product that I personally guarantee and love it that you guys will love it. So if you're interested, the link is in the video description where to get this. So let's go overall style. That gets a 9. Sound quality, that gets a 10. Buttons in operation, that gets an 8. Overall, we got a 9.3, maybe 9.5 out of 10. It is very nice. It's nice that you can fold it. That's cool. I mean, for me, I have pockets that are pretty big. It fits right in my pocket. So, yeah, I, I have... To, I have to give it a Scott score of 9.2 to 9.5 out of 10. That is a very high score, and I'm proud to give them that score. Great product. Definitely check out the link in the video description. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. If you guys are a company and you have a product that you would like honestly reviewed, I cannot lie, so I will not give a fake review. But if you are a company that has a product or multiple products, doesn't matter what it is, tech, movies, food, anything, I enjoy doing reviews. This is my passion and my hobby. So please send me an email or contact me. You can contact me. My email is in the video description. So go ahead and send me an email and let's chat. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.